lawless days of the old west, times were rough, buddy. Outlaws ruled the land and took advantage of those who were weak. But there was one man. One man who stood for truth. A man who stood for justice and above all, dignity. Dignity? That man they called him Cowboy Jim. Welcome y'all to another episode of Cowboy Jim's Roundup. Yeah! Well, boys and girls, it gets mighty lonesome out on the range. And what me and Splinter like to do, we like to sing this here song. Ain't that right, Splinter? We're gonna ask y'all to sing along with us. It's called Purple Lights. Here we go. Purple lights, purple lights in the canyon. In the canyon, that's where I, that's where I long to be, long to be with my three, with my three good companions, good companions, my guitar, my pony, and me. Whippoorwill, whippoorwill in the willow, in the willow sings a song. A song, a melody, a melody for my three, for my three good companions, good companions, my guitar, my pony, and me. Gonna hang, gonna hang my sombrero, my sombrero from the limb, from the limb of a tree. Of a tree for my three, for my three good companions, good companions, my guitar, my pony, and me. All right, let's sing that first verse one more time. Purple lights, purple lights in the canyon, in the canyon. That's where I, that's where I long to be, long to be with my three. With my three good companions, good companions, my guitar, my pony, and me. My guitar, my pony, and me. All right, boys and girls. Well, that was mighty fine. Is that Splinter? All right, well, he's telling me it's time to get on back to the range. Well, we're going to welcome y'all back next time to another episode of Cowboy Jim's Good Time Downtown Get Up to Get Down Roundup. Yeah! Come on back next time. So... Today, we are going to learn about pitch. So we're not talking about pitching a ball here. In music, pitch is how high or how low a sound can be. And we talked about this a little bit in an earlier episode, actually, episode three. If you've not seen episode three, you should check it out. It talks about melody and pitch has something to do with that. So um, but we're exploring pitch more today and uh, there's a couple of different things that determine uh, what the pitch of something's gonna be. And uh, one of those things is how big or how small that thing is. And you know, I was thinking just for fun, I'm gonna take a walk around town and I'm gonna listen and kind of observe some things 
and uh, we're gonna see uh, what makes a higher pitch and what makes a lower pitch. So uh, let's go and check that out. Come on, let's go. super fun <laughs> so um, I noticed a lot of things on that on that walk um, so I was trying to take some mental notes here so um, you know as I was walking I noticed a lot of things um, a lot of cars and trucks were passing by so you know um, I think a truck with uh, like a little engine might produce a higher pitch and then maybe a truck with a big engine would produce a lower pitch so we have high and low. Okay. Um, the waterfall downtown that goes over the dam, so there's a lot of water that goes over that, so it's big, right? So um, that might be like a lower pitch. And then you can compare that with maybe the fountain downtown. There's a lot of, there's less water coming out of the fountain, so that could be like a higher pitch. We have low. And when I was walking in the park there, uh, there's a, a duck, <laughs> it's a bigger bird, so I might make a lower pitch, and then maybe a smaller bird would produce a higher pitch. So we have low and high. Uh, let's see what else. Um, there was a, a big dog, a big dog would make a low pitch. A small dog would make a higher pitch. Low. And high. What else? Oh, I went into a church and saw a really cool pipe organ. This is really neat. So pipe organs, um, they can produce all kinds of different pitches, high pitches and low pitches. There's a bunch of air that blows through the pipes. And, you know, uh, we saw some really big pipes that produce really low sounds. And we saw some...
some smaller pipes on that pipe organ that would produce much higher sounds. We have lower sounds and higher sounds. That's pretty cool. I have an idea. Let's do a sound experiment. You need two things. Rubber bands and a container. It could be small or it could be bigger. Hey. Hi. What you doing? What are you doing? Okay, well, do you see the rubber bands? Mm -hmm. Do you like rubber bands? Yeah. Can you say the word tension? Tension. Can you look at the camera and say tension? Tension. Mm -hmm. Can you hold your muscles really, really tight? As tight as you can go. You look so tense and relax. All right, so tension is how tight or loose something is. And we can change the pitch with tension. Pitch is how high or how low something is. So what we're gonna do is grab you some rubber bands at home and grab you a container. What, what container do you want to use, Kathleen? I want... A little one and a big one. Which, which one's the one? Pick one. Big, big, big. The biggest one? All right, here it is. And then you pick the biggest one. All right, let's stretch some rubber bands. Pick your favorite rubber band. And you can change the pitch of the rubber bands by tightening them up. You can kind of pull, tighten them up, and it can get, go even higher. Let me get a little closer in case they can't hear it. Get a little looser. Pop some rubber bands for me. Can you play a song for me? I tuned it! <laughs> it's the end again. We've made it. Bye. So thank you guys for watching today. We talked about pitch. We know that big things are going to make lower sounds. Smaller things are going to make higher sounds. I took a walk around town, I saw some things, observed some things, heard some sounds. It was pretty, it was pretty cool. And uh, we, we, we just proved that theory. Big is low, small is high. Um, also, we did an experiment with rubber bands. We know that we, we pull the rubber bands tighter, it's going to produce a higher pitch. If we let the rubber bands go looser, it's going to, the pitches are going to be lower. Um, yeah, and you guys can do that experiment whenever you want to. It's fun for the whole family. And um, compose some melodies, pluck a rubber band, it's great. So uh, we're going to do that jam session. Um, pick a rhythm on the screen, and um, yeah, all right, let's do it. You guys be good out there. Make good choices. Be safe. Be well. See you later. Bye-bye.